You're right. What did you say to her? Who? Mary, I saw you talking to her. I told her not to worry and that I was going to look after you. And then I didn't know my battery was dead until I left the dentist. So. Oh, well, you're in now, I suppose. Mary, what's the matter? Is he right? It's Bethany. Bethany? Why? What's happened? She's gone. Gone? Where? You just take a deep breath. Gone away with Nathan. Well, she'll come back. Gone away where with Nathan? I don't know. She's she's run away with him so that they can be together. That's all I know. He's broken his bail. I'll call DC Lee. Tell them she hasn't got a passport because I cut it up. Why didn't you stop her? I know. He's dangerous. We've got to find her. Right. Do you have any idea where they're going? Why didn't you get someone? I tried. I, I thought I could talk him around. You should have got rid of it. I tried. We're together now, though. That's all that matters, isn't it? Where are we going? Hull. Hull? To the port. And then, from there, to Belgium. Please don't be mad. I don't have my passport. I mean, but we weren't talking about you, would you? Todd. He... I got nothing. I'm not stupid, you know. And you're a bad liar. Probably because you're a vicar. It's just that your dad... My dad doesn't want to upset me. Doesn't want me to worry about what's going to happen to me once he's gone. OK, so, um... What, what do you think is going to happen? Well, that's probably up to you more than it is to me. Somebody's got to take me. He never lets me have the afternoon off school. And he's been talking about you for months, so it didn't take a genius to find out you're the one he's picked. And, um, what do you think about that? Well, me and Todd looking after you. What are you offering? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know we were going to enter into negotiations somewhere. We've got some... Really nice ice cream in the freezer back at home. Yeah, or we could find, you know, like a organic banana. Hmm? Hmm? Is he always this annoying? <laughs> <laughs> Not always. <laughs> OK. My dad always said how kind to him that he could trust you with anything. That's how I knew. <sighs> oh, where have you been? Sorry. You all right? Yeah, I'll just... Okay? Yeah, lovely, Michelle. Thank you. Cheers. Please don't shout. Neil told you to bring your passport. Yeah, I know, but when I looked in the drawer, it wasn't there, and then Mary came in. She didn't even look for it properly. My mum must have taken it. I'm so sorry, Nathan. Sorry? <laughs> Do you realise how much your stupidity is going to cost me? Well, maybe if we just stay in this country for a bit and then I can get Look, Forget it. I will sort it. But how? Can't we just... I said I will sort it! I've never been to Belgium. Where will we stay? Uh, not... Not we. What? What do you mean? A friend of mine is gonna... is gonna take you. A friend? What friend? I want to be with you. This is why we're doing this, so that we can be together. You don't get it, do you? I have broken bail. I'm in it up to my neck, so until things calm down, I have to stay here, and you are going to Belgium. Please, Nathan. As soon as it's safe, I'm going to be on that first boat over. OK? But how will I even get into Belgium without a passport? Why can't I just stay here? You just need to trust me. OK? I'm, 
it's a good course, although I do say so myself. I'm fun, you know. All right. So that's why you want my missus on it, is it, eh? So you can have some fun. I'm sorry? She was happy doing what she was doing. She was happy with everything, and then you come sniffing round. Uh, you okay? You haven't told him, have you? I knew it! Ty! What a round am I know? Ty! You're making a show of yourself! Mate, listen. You've got the wrong end of the stick. I'm not after Fizz. Yeah, right. <sighs> Look, she's lovely, but... Put it this way. I'm more inclined to fancy you than I am her. I'll just nip to the local. Okay. Well, why didn't you say something? Because it's none of our business. Great, now I just feel really embarrassed. Yeah, we're not half as embarrassed as I feel. Honestly, Tyrone. So here I was on a final green and goal! Do you mind? You nearly gave me flaming ass a sec. Mm -hmm. That's because you're looking at stuff you should be looking at. Yeah. <laughs> you can't. Yeah, I'm all right there, Kevin. How you doing? You're not bad, don't you? There you are. Tony, what can I say? I got through to the final. But not only that, but you are looking at a new feeder of farmers, golf tournament champion. Yes! Feeders of farmers? Yeah, I'm a feeder, man. Groceries. Oh, right. Couple of hours, you okay, said. I'm, gonna, I'm sorry, I'm going to make it up to you. At least it's not this weekend, I suppose. Yeah, we can talk about that. Kev, I've uh, got a slow puncture, mate. You reckon you can fix it? Yeah, yeah, no problem. Excuse me, miss. Have I told you how beautiful you look today? Well, go on. Well, come here. Let me tell you. Uh, uh, do you mind? Sorry. Laters. When you've done that, you can make a start laying up for dinner. Are you sure you're all right, Daniel? Yeah, of course he is. He's got wasted. Drinking with Adam. Don't be too sympathetic. Oh, well, in that case... Thank you. Listen, uh, why don't you take a break? Oh, well, yeah, if you're sure. Huh? Yeah. Only, um, there's no point going back to an empty flat, is there? So why don't you... Pull yourself up a chair and, I don't know, read your book or something. Look, I have already told you, you don't need to worry. What happened was a one-off, OK? What have I missed? What was a one-off? Oh, you remember. Tracy was giving him a hard time being... Well, Tracy. What, vile? Yeah, we've all been there. At least you don't share any actual genes with us, so that's the matter, I suppose. As for it being a one-off, though, will not count on that. Uh, table three. on top farm this morning. She's behaving herself, yeah? Yeah, yeah, she's fine. Actually, it's Fear I've come to see you about. It's her art exhibition. She's not going. Five weeks ago, we launched our search to find model... Because of me? No, no, it's because they're not going to show her stuff. I did tell her to phone you. Right. Well, that's a lie for a start, because she's great at art. So stop me from going into it. I don't know. But you suspect. Is it? If you know something you're not telling me, you better add, because me and you are going to start falling out. I don't. Mm. Sorry. I thought you'd you change your mind. Some stupid girl set a fire alarm off, so it doesn't matter. Never mind, you're here now. Let's get going. Your fella will be chomping at the bit. Well, Nick will be there, not. Yeah, apparently she's got to come back here afterwards to uh, check the place out. All right. Smart. Thanks. Straight? Yeah. Let's get going, shall we? Look, Todd, I know none of this was what you wanted. I mean, to be honest, I'm not sure it was even what I wanted. Not to start with. But you've got to admit, she's pretty fab. Mm, she's all right. It's not like I've got much of a choice, is it? Well, I actually think us taking summer on could be great for us. Make us into a proper little family. I didn't realise we were in that much trouble as we were. Just think of all the things we'll get to do. As opposed to all the stuff that's going to go out the window. Well, I think Drew's raised a pretty great kid. And I think you do too. I don't know. It's still a massive dilemma. I mean, do I really want to start playing daddy to a kid I barely know? I mean, like you said, I'm just a big kid myself. On the other hand, do I dislike the idea of a that much 
but I can see us into a children's home. I don't know. It's a tough one. Yeah, I know it's difficult, but it's not impossible, and, well, I need that passport. End of. <laughs> well, you're going to have to get a move on then, aren't you? Good. OK. Yeah, call me. I know I've messed up. I'm sorry. So who is this guy that we're meeting, then? You don't know him. Well, yeah, I know. That's why His I'm name's asking. John. OK? Won't it be weird? Where will I stay? Well, I need money. Just stop asking questions, will you? It's going to be fine. don't have to be at church until about six. So, what do you say we drop by the park first, eh? I'm not five. No, I know. No, I just, I just thought you might like to see it, that's all. Um, I, I tell you what, why, why don't you give your dad a ring? See if he wants to meet up with us, eh? Hey, Summer, how about we go and buy Frisbee? Well, I guess you brainy types don't much like sport, do you? I play football, if you must know, and Frisbee's not even a sport. Uh, you throw some and you run. In my book, that's sport. I've been thinking. Mm-hmm. It's not gonna work out. Sorry, w w what's not? You two and me. I mean, thanks and that. But no. Thanks. What's wrong? Um, so my sweetheart is your dad. Um, he's been rushed into hospital. And then I've got Gary and David driving around looking for them. Oh, they could be anywhere. But I mean, she hasn't got a passport, but... Well, they could have gone down south, they could have gone to Scotland, they could have gone anywhere. Are you able to check cameras on motorways, you know, things like that? Yeah, but if he's changed car... Oh, yeah, he's right. We don't yet know what we're looking for. And, uh Bethany went willingly. Only because she's too blind to see what he's really like. Well, him breaking his bail's the main issue here. We know what he's like. Yeah, we do. And believe me, we're still building our case. Oh, this is ridiculous. Why would anybody do anything? My daughter's in danger. Oh, I, I can't believe this. I can't believe I'm here again. <sighs> he's manipulated her into thinking he wants a relationship when what that monster really wants. Oh, I can't bear it. I might never see my little girl again. OK, so I need you to take this to mortuary. Okay. Um, Spellman was brought in. Uh, Mr Mayhew? Yeah. Um, we spoke when you phoned your friend's mobile. Yeah. Uh, how is he? Um, oh, this is Summer. This is Drew's daughter. Can you take me to see my dad? I can make him better. Please, I want to see him. Uh, s -s Summer? Why don't me and you, we, uh, we go and get a, a hot chocolate or something, yeah? Just me and you. I'm so sorry. No! I want to see my daddy. Oh, I don't want you. I want my daddy, please. Please, I want my daddy. <laughs> So now it's my fault because I won't let her see him. What's happened? I am not saying that. I'm just trying to find a way to make you happy, to make her happy. Yeah, well, believe me, there's no way my daughter having anything to do with that boy is ever going to make me happy or her. I'm sorry. Do you know what, is it? I know that you and Gary are doing your best, but I've had enough of me dancing to a tune. I want her back here whether she likes it or not. Do you really think that's the answer? I don't know. I'm, I'm trying my best. Where are you going? The cafe. Anna! Hang your boat! I'll come with you. We can stop for a brew. I don't want to stop for a brew. I work there. I just want to see if Faze left a message for me with Roy. Just 
think I'd be interested in Kim? I didn't. Not really. I thought it was him that was interested in you. It turns out. Yeah, it turns out he's not. Oh. And even if he was straight, and even if he was interested, you should have trusted that it wouldn't matter to me. I know, and I'm sorry. Did seem pretty keen on Luke, though, now come to think about it. Mm, yeah, who could blame him, eh? What? Oh, you daft beggar. What? Ta what are you doing? I don't believe it. A little... Oi! You get away from him now! And then will you just listen? You, madam, you've turned into a right little liar. I told you no contact with him, didn't I? Didn't I? I told you he was troubling you was to stay away. We're not giving him a chance. He's had all his chances. He's not getting any others. This is why I don't tell you anything. Wait, maybe I should go. Oh, yeah, maybe you should go. No! What? Yes, you get away! Get off! Get away! Get off me! Right! I'm staying with Izzy and Gary, and I'm going to see Sam as much as I like, and there's nothing you can do about it! Let her go. Leave her calm down. <laughs> Reminds me of me and me mum when I were a kid. <laughs> sorry. Hey, nothing to be sorry for. Apart from prostrating himself in front of his car, I, I honestly can't see what else he could have done. And, and like you said, you, you have young Harry to think of. When that awful man threatened me like that, and Harry too, an innocent child, you know, I dread to think what he's capable of. And then there's poor Bethany, believing his all kindness, his intentions that of a good, honest man. Oh, you know, I'm fine. I suppose I hoped, and would this sound stupid, but I hoped that finally something good might have come of, of my experience. But something good did come of your experience. You have a son, a fine, upstanding young man. And as for Bethany, look, she, she'll have heard you. She, she'll have taken it in, and what one can hope for is that in the future, sometime down the line, she will find she's made a mistake. I do hope so. You know, I was never brave. Well, not brave enough, anyway. I believe Bethany has strength. Let's hope it doesn't desert her. Yeah. Must be hard for her, though. And I mean, young Faye moved in with Izzy now. No, oh, no, but still. Mind you, I wouldn't want to be in Kevin's shoes. Poor bloke didn't look in a very happy place. Oh, dear. Trouble in paradise, maybe? Hmm. Hmm. Just got to make a few phone calls. Who to? Just some associates. What kind of associates? <sighs> Why are you questioning everything? I'm sorry, but this is a really big deal for me. You do love me, don't you? <laughs> of course I do. I told you, you're special. That is why I chose you. You. <laughs> now, do you uh, want anything? Uh, I'm going to go to the toilet. OK. Hey, I thought you'd turn that off. They can track your GPS. Right. Straight back, yeah? We need to get moving. <laughs> Surely the best thing for her is to be with people she knows. You heard what she said, she doesn't want to come with us. I mean, how would that even work? I, just... I thought we had more time. I can't bear it. Hello, Summer. Whoa, 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 hang on. Who are you? He knows who I am. Your father's gone, Summer. You're coming home with Grandma. 
Grandma. No, 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 you can't. Drew wanted her to come and live with us. My son's dead. She's coming with me. Don't you even want to know what happened? I know. They told me over the phone. There were complications. He died of heart failure. He didn't suffer. It was quick and there was no pain, OK? And the last thing he said to you, do you remember? He told you he loved you. And you told him you loved him too. Come on. Can I see him? I want to see him. No. We need to go now. Hang on. What are you talking about? Billy, you're going to say something? Oh, he's done enough. You should be ashamed of yourself wearing that collar. Well, listen, I know you've got a problem with... with me. But she is Drew's daughter. My granddaughter will never be raised by you. Come on. and I need you to call the police. There's a man. He's trying to make me leave the country and I don't want to go. Even Emma's beginning to wonder if her client is telling the truth. Tonight, Helen McCrory stars in our new drama, Fearless, next. And on Thursday night at nine, meeting some of America's notorious female prisoners is a new series of killer women with Piers Morgan. <laughs>